We were invited to Japan to experience flat track racing. And when it comes to the flat track, there's only one manufacturer that comes to mind. That's right, it's these guys. So Harley Davidson has been kind enough to invite us here for the very first flat track experience in India. Now, the John Singh Speedway has been built specially by the Rajputana Customs, Vijay Singh. So Vijay has customized uh, Harley Street Samrifty motorcycles just for this event. As the day starts, Harley Davidson has got a legendary European flat track champion to come here and train us. We're going to do some drills, do a few practice laps, and at the end of the day, do an actual flat track race. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to get on the bike and do this. So this is the customized Harley Davidson Street 750 that the guys at Rajputana Customs have made specifically for this event. Now as you can see, it does not look like your average Street 750 and that's because they made a lot of modifications to it. You can tell right off the bat it's got spokes, it's got bigger tires, it's got new exhaust, it's got a lot of uh, things that have been removed from the bike. Um, the fuel tank is also new on this bike. A lot of the bikes have different modifications. There is also no front brake, and that's because you don't use the front brake in flat track racing. Um, so yeah, the old bike has been modified specifically for the track. Harley Davidson has got some serious bollocks to be allowing me and a few other bike journalists to be going full throttle on a flat track. Flat track racing is without a doubt one of the most dangerous motorsport events on the planet and falling down and crashing is as common as the dirt on the track itself. But then again, that's the reason we love going to Harley Davidson press events. Freedom for all is their motto. And in this case, it seems we may have been given just a little too much of that great American virtue. After a full day of lessons and drills, we were finally given a go at the entire track. By now, I had gotten the hang of the traction of the rear wheel, but still, I wasn't ever in complete control of what was going on. The key is to lay off the throttle as you enter the turn, and just as you hit the apex, you move your body to the front of the bike with all your weight on the tank. At the same time, you need to stick your foot out and lean against the angle of the bike and then you twist the throttle and wait for the rear tire to spin out. And then you counter steer all the way back into the straight. It also takes an incredible physical toll on your body because you need to lean and sit up on the tank and use your arms to steer. The next day, Harley Davidson hit us with a doozy. They were gonna make us face off against each other in an actual flat track race. The format would be a one-on-one -on -one race, each rider starting on the opposite side of the track. I hadn't been in an actual race for many years, so my adrenaline levels were high. I did everything that I was taught to the T and won every race up until the semifinal. Unfortunately, on the very last turn, I made my first mistake of the day and went too wide, causing me to lose speed and momentum back into the straight, and I lost by the length of a wheel. Being able to learn from Marco, who also taught Valentino Rossi, is a real blessing and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So thank you, Harley Davidson, and thank you, Vijay Singh, for a wonderful event. We certainly will never forget it and can't wait to get back out there.